And well, severe weather can be, of course, scary to everyone. And it's almost mid-May, and we've seen intense storms this spring. Tornadoes and other extreme weather events are not only dangerous, but can also be traumatic for our pets. The Humane Society of Missouri wants to remind pet owners how to keep you and your four-legged friends safe during those storms. And we're getting advice from veterinarian Dr. Jennifer Pearl, and she's with the Animal Medical Center of Mid-America. And first, Jennifer, let's introduce this sweet dog that you have with us. Who is this? Sure, her name is Bagheera and she's a seven year old pit mix. Um, she's super sweet and super excited. Is she, she up for adoption? Yes. Oh, perfect. She well, I bet dogs like Bagheera, you know, sometimes maybe get a little scared when that thunder comes rolling, right? So, yeah. what advice would you have for those pet owners? Well, for those pets that have um, storm <laughs> and she's strong. <laughs> I know, that have storm anxiety. Um, you can get prescription medication to help with the anxiety for storms. Um, and I find it's really useful. You just need to make a quick visit to your vet or call to your vet to, to get it. Yeah, and I have a little feline that sometimes gets scared when the thunder's rumbling and rolling. So, you know, could be the same be applied to dogs and cats? Absolutely. Getting yeah. pigs too? <laughs> Everything in between. And, and, and what if, you know, somebody doesn't want to go the medication route or maybe they didn't know that their pet has anxiety and it just kind of, you know, stumbles on top of them, what would you say then? Well, I mean, some pets are um, satisfied with just having their owners present or someone to comfort them. And then there are other things like pheromones that can help um, diffuse the anxiety and things like um, garments, you know, that they wear, um, like Thunder Ease that can um, just provide them some security. Um, sometimes they also just have a favorite place where they like to hide and, and yep. just be that's comforting to them. So. My cat is under the bed <laughs> when storms <laughs> yeah. roll through. That's awesome. And, you know, just going on this train here, you know, if a dog is really, really scared, like maybe like they are just so terrified, you know, what would you say in that case? That is one of those guys that really probably needs to take medication to help calm okay. themselves down because you don't want them to get hurt or to somehow get out of the house and run away. Is there any warning yeah. signs, you know, owners can, can detect? Um, usually it's just like restlessness, you know, pacing, can't get comfortable. You can tell that they're anxious, maybe they're a little more vocal, yeah. um, following you around, sticking to you like glue. This girl is not, not um, scared. She is so, so scared oh, right now. happy to be here, yeah, for sure. Not a lick of anxiety with her. <laughs> also, it's Give STL Day, so where is uh, some links or any information that you can yeah, uh, provide so, um, to give to your amazing organization? Yeah, so that is at uh, Give STL day.org uh, slash HSMO and yes. we'd appreciate any donations to help these guys get adopted. So yes, we love the Humane Society it. here at Fox 2 and please adopt this sweet girl. She is up for adoption at the Humane Society of Missouri. So get her a forever home for sure. But thank you so much yes. Jennifer for coming on and talking with us about this important topic yeah, for severe welcome. weather season. My